Hey, what's up, OOT runners? This is going to be a tutorial for a 1.2 setup for Zora's River Butterfly SRM. Um, this setup is pretty new, so feel free to try to improve on it, but I just wanted to get something out there so people can start working on item setups, because this is just to actually set up the SRM itself. Um, I'm going to link video, uh, video in the description of Blinny's original video showing how this is done. Um, this is just a setup for 1.2. So you want to enter at full speed, drop a bomb chew, back walk towards the tree. You need to walk forward a little bit before you back walk so that the, the rocks that are behind us load, the, the circle of small stones. Um, then you want to bonk this tree and then wait a bit for these leaves to go away, those leaves that you just saw falling off the tree. Um, you want to kill the Skulltula so that those, the Skulltula token spawns after those leaves are gone, um, which doesn't take very long, but you just want to make sure you wait long enough. Uh, and then come over here. Make sure you don't turn to the right at any point and load the butterflies. Um, we want to keep those butterflies unloaded until as late as possible. So target this wall. Um, the lower right watch, DEE0, that's Link's angle right now. That's what we're going to pay attention to. Um, so you're going to go 90 degrees to the left and then circle ESS back to DFA1. Um, and then do one ESS turn to the right and then ESS up to adjust Link to the camera so it goes down by two units. ESS to the right twice, ESS up adjust again so it goes down by three units, uh, and then ESS back the three ESS turns that you just did. So you should have DF9C. Uh, and then you're going to come into this corner, uh, drop a bomb true, and then quickly do two side ups to the left, a side roll, and then a backflip, and pull a second bomb true before the first one explodes. So drop, side hop, side hop, side roll, backflip before the first one explodes. Um, and then what you want to do is wait until this bomb chew is right around right around here, like when the medium speed flashes start to happen. Um, and then hold straight right for either three or four frames. One, two, three. Um, or the next frame, you're going to release Z and just keep holding right. And Link should touch the token at an angle of 994C. Um, and the bomb chew timing was important because you want this bomb chew to explode before the camera turns towards the butterflies. Like that. And then once the camera turns enough so you can see about half of that first boulder, you can press A, blow up this boulder, and then turn away uh, kind of fast because you want that butterfly over there to not be loaded for too long because ever, right now it's sinking down to the ground and we need to get to it in time. So you want to cull it now. Um, Next, you want to come over here, and the 5C you see next to Link's head, that is uh, the item value that we'll get from the butterfly. We want to zero that out so that we can lift the butterfly. Um, and if you want, you can look at the watch for this on 1.2. I got this from Blinny. Is this one right here, 801E3C6B. Um, if this number is fluctuating right now really fast, you did something wrong. You want it to be stable. Um, so do a backflip from this corner, and then mash bomb chew to place it on the ground, and then hold down so that Link, when he goes into that automatic first person view from the bomb chew, he looks straight up. And then it'll explode on the top, and you want that item value to be zero. So now, without looking at the butterfly for too long, navigate to the butterfly. You can see it's sinking, and pick it up before it goes too far underground. So now Link is carrying the butterfly, and you should be able to do whatever item setups you need, which will start somewhere around here, but that's out of the scope of this video. So, thanks for watching.